Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another belly dance lesson. Today I'm going to teach you how to do this hip circle. Some call it Moroccan circle, some call it African circle, some call it Umi. It changes between teachers and dancers. So actually with this movement many times students just do it, yeah, without thinking too much. Somehow it's kind of a natural movement for the body. So you can actually just try to do it and see what happens. But I am going to break it down and explain, of course. We actually have two kinds of hip circles in belly dance, uh, small hip circles anyway. One is flat, where I'm just pushing my hip. And this is not what I'm going to teach you today. You can see that opposed to this, where I'm parallel to the floor with my hip, I'm going to actually move up and down with my hip as I'm doing the Moroccan circle. So, how do we start? We'll need to know how to use our hips going up and down, the basic step. And we'll need to know how to work the belly in and out, contracting and releasing the muscle. We're going to use both our knees to make our hips go up and down and the muscle in my belly. So I'm going to start from one side. I'm going to take the hip up. Then I'm going to push the hip backwards, going to the other side up and then in contracting the belly. So side, release, side, contract side, release, side, contract, side, release, side, contract. I can go the other way around, so I'm going to start from the left, going up, then pushing back out. Everything is still loose, I'm not contracting everything. Going up to the other side, still not contracted, and only now going to the front, I'm going to contract the belly. And I'm going to keep it in as I'm going to the other side. So two counts, if I divide this kind of movement to four counts, four stages, I'm going to be with my belly contracted and two with it released. So release and contract and release and contract. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit to the other direction again. Let's start now from the left to the front first. So I'm going to go up, then I'm going to push forward, contracting the belly. Going to the other side, my belly is still in, and I'm going to push out and release. Side, in, side, out, side, in, side, out. Let me show you the movement from the side. I'm going up on the right side of my hip, taking the hip back, all the way to the other side, up on the left, contract, side, back, side, contract, and this is how it looks. I know some teachers teach it a little bit differently and instructing students to go down and then in, down, up. It's actually the same idea, it doesn't make a lot of difference whether we think of it as going down or up because our hips, our pelvis is one bone, so if one side goes up, the other one goes down, it's a little bit like a seesaw. So it's not that big of a deal, think about what is more comfortable for you to think of it as taking this side up or taking this side down, it doesn't really matter. The end result, it's quite the same. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please click like if you did and I'll see you next time.